okay good morning everybody today we are going to start the next concept mantic hysteresis loop so this is uh, nothing but hysteresis behavior of a given ferromantic material or ph card so it is very important question because here this mantic hysteresis uh, of a given ferromantic material is very important we know that the properties of the ferromantic materials generally uh, ferromantic materials are strongly magnetized by the applied magnetic field and they're having uh, magnetic domains so these uh, magnetic domains are magnetized under the application of uh, external magnetic field so <clears throat> we know that uh, uh, the magnetization of the ferromagnetic material according to domain theory so because of the uh, motion of the domain walls and the rotation of the domain walls the magnetization of the ferromagnetic material is observed okay so that is in our previous class we have learned uh, okay this is story in our previous class but coming to what is the hysteresis behavior of a given ferromagnetic material yeah coming to this picture here actually this is a, ferro, a ring of a, a ferromantic material so first of all what is the hysteresis what's the meaning of hysteresis here the word hysteresis is derived from the greek word hysterian means to lag behind that means the phenomena of flux density b bar so magnetic flux density lagging behind the magnetizing force h in a magnetic material is known as magnetic hysteresis so the magnetic flux density v is lagging behind the magnetizing force h suppose you have to apply the magnetizing force h to a ferromagnetic material okay then the flux density the magnetic flux density which is produced in the ferromagnetic material okay which is lagging behind this magnetizing force so this phenomena is nothing but is known as his magnetic hysteresis or bh curve or magnetic hysteresis behavior now for this here for understanding the phenomena of magnetic hysteresis consider a ring of a ferromagnetic material wound uniformly with a solenoid see coming to this picture here this is here a ring it is a, a ring of a ferromagnetic material which is uh, this material is wound uniformly with the solenoid wires so these are the say so these are the solenoid wires here this is a solenoid so this is solenoid inside the solenoid just you have to place a ring of a ferromagnetic material which is connected to a dpdt reversible switch that means double pole double throw reversible switch to assume the figure say that means our ferromagnetic material is placed inside the solenoid which is connected to a dpdt switch reversible switch assume this figure which is followed by a variable resistor and an ammeter so and followed by the battery now because here we have to we have to apply the magnetizing force to this material then uh within this material how the magnetic flux density is changed so we have to observe uh, the magnetic the magnetic flux density okay within the ferromagnetic material under the application of this magnetizing force h to this material so with the help of this solenoid just you have to apply the magnetizing force h to this material because this is the a ferromagnetic material a ring of a ferromagnetic material which is placed inside the solenoid because solenoid is a device which is used to produce a, a uniform magnetic field since so that is all my we know that the value of the magnetic field here so uh, within the with the help of this uh, solenoid we have to produce the magnetizing force h to this material so that this material is uh, uh, gets magnetized that means uh, uh, the domains the dipoles in the each domain they are oriented according to the direction of the field applied magnetic field okay so uh, this is uh, the concept here now the ferromagnetic materials 
are mainly responsible for uh, generation of hysteresis loop or BH curve. Okay, coming to this one. First of all, initially, the switch is uh, in position one. Uh, by decreasing the value of resistance, the value of the current in the solenoid increases gradually. Yeah, this is by using circuit diagram. So this is a, a reversible switch. That means uh, uh, it is connected to first pole and second terminal. First terminal, second terminal. Okay. Say this is a first terminal. This is a second terminal. By reversing the current, uh, we have to change the direction of the magnetizing force H also. So for this purpose, just you have to use uh, this uh, DP data reversible switch. Now, initially, the switch is uh, connected to the position one by decreasing the value of resistance, increasing the current in the solenoid so that uh, which is uh, gradually increases the flux density, so the magnetizing, magnetizing force H actually. So intensity, field intensity, that is nothing but the magnetizing force H is produced within this solenoid. So because of current passing through the solenoid, so that uh, the magnetic force is produced uh, uh, in the solenoid, so that that is applicable to this uh, material. Because in the solenoid, our material is placed uh, so that uh, we have to apply the magnetizing force with the help of the solenoid to this material, that is ferromagnetic material. So what happens? Yeah, so then the flux density B also increases uh, till it reaches the saturation point A and the curve obtained is for A. So that is initially, so there is no field, so that is starting from zero. So on the coming to this BH curve, so on the x-axis, just you have to take the values of magnetizing force. So the value of these, the, where H is the value of the magnetizing force, which is produced by using the solenoid. Okay, and uh, uh, on the y-axis, we have to consider the magnetized magnetic flux density B, which is produced uh, within the ferromagnetic material. That means uh, the magnetic flux density values are taken along y-axis. Okay, so that initially uh, at origin, when H is equal to zero, B is equal to zero. Suppose uh, we have to apply uh, the magnetizing force, H is increased. So generally, the magnetization of the material, that means the magnetic flux density within the material is also gradually increases along the path here, oh yeah. So along the path, oh yeah. So as the magnetizing force H is increased up to a maximum value, say from O to F. So that is, we are, we are increasing the magnetizing force with the help of a solenoid to the material so that here the H is increased gradually. The magnetic, in, magnetic flux density, that means the magnetic magnetization of the material or magnetic flux density of the material is also gradually increases up to a value that is up to OA. Say this OA curve, the curve obtained is OA. So that means at a point A, so my saturation occurs when uh, on increasing the current, uh, dipole moment uh, are, are the molecules of magnet, uh, magnet material align itself in one direction. That means within the ferromagnetic materials, all the dipoles uh, are arranged in a particular direction so that uh, at a point A, all the dipoles are completely saturized. That means are completely arranged in the direction of the field so that the saturation occurs at a point A. Now, at a point A here, just you have to observe the magnetic saturation. So coming to here, this picture, in this picture, uh, yeah, from this is origin, uh, in this picture, the domains in magnetic hysteresis, at a point A, so all the dipoles uh, are strongly arranged, are oriented in the direction of the magnetic field magnetizing force. So here the magnetizing force, which is applied okay, to the ferromagnetic material. This is a ferromagnetic material. This is a ferromagnetic material is placed uh, in the external magnetic field. Of course, by using also this magnet, uh, which indicates the magnetic field. Of course, we have to take solenoid, but uh, for our simplification here, just with the help of this external magnetic field, within this external magnetic field, uh, we have to place uh, a ferromagnetic material. So at the origin, this is a ferromagnetic material. As we are increasing field from O to A, 
so the, the mantic dipoles are definitely uh, oriented in the direction according to the applied magnetic field. So here we have to observe the difference between the domains of the ferromagnetic material. So at the initial point uh, or at the saturation point also. At the initial point, the dipoles are oriented uh, in a random way, but uh, at a saturation point, that means as the field is increased up to maximum value, so the magnetization of the material guards the uh, uh, saturation point. That means uh, all the domains, uh, that means the dipoles uh, in each domain are uh, or strictly oriented uh, in the direction according to the applied magnetizing force. That means the material is saturized, uh, gets the saturation. So that picture we'll observe here in this uh, slide actually. Now coming to second one. Now, as uh, uh, from this saturation point A, uh, just we have to uh, decrease, in, we have to decreasing the field. Now uh, coming to this point. Now, by decreasing the current in the solenoid to zero, the magnetizing force is gradually reduced to reduced to zero. So, first of all, the magnetizing force is increased from zero to F, a zero to maximum value. This is a magnetizing force. So, by decreasing the current in the solenoid, just we have to uh, remove, we have to decrease the value of the magnetizing force. That means the value of the magnetizing force is increases and also decreases with the help of a solenoid by changing current in the solenoid. So increasing current in the solenoid, the magnetizing force is increased by decreasing current in the solenoid okay, to zero, the magnetizing force is gradually reduced to zero. So again, so suppose as H tends to zero, as the H is the magnetizing force is uh, decreased uh, to a zero value, reduced to zero, then the magnetizing in magnetic flux density within the material is not follows the same path o, a o but uh, it takes another path a b suppose here we have to remove we have to reduce the magnetizing force h from maximum value h to zero so again the the magnetic induction within the ferromagnetic material is not follows the same path a o because as an increasing magnetic field it follows the path O A as decreasing the magnetic field H. It not follows, does not follows the same path A O, but it takes another path A B. That means as a field, the uh, magnetic field or uh, magnetizing force H is uh, uh, reduced to zero from this maximum value, but the magnetic flux density not becomes zero. Is gradually decreases up to. Uh, at a particular value B. That means even though at H is equal to zero, the magnetizing force H is uh, uh, reduced to zero value, so but the magnetic induction not becomes zero. It existing some value that is OB. So that picture here. But the value of flux density B will not be zero as uh, it still has uh, the value OB. At H is equal to zero, at H is equal to zero, a maximum value nunchi again zero reduces the magnetizing force ni. at H is equal to zero, B not equal to zero. The magnetic induction OB value is existing within the material. So this OB is here, is called, this OB value is called residual magnetism. magnetism. So, but the here, coming to this one, but the flux of the, the value of the flux density B will not be zero, even the H is equal to zero, B not equal to zero, as uh, it is still has the value OB when H is equal to zero. H is equal to maximum into zero chest number two, OB and the value exists only. So OB here, this OB is called residual magnetism. Okay, so the curve obtained is AB. The curve obtained, the, the curve follows the path here, AB, uh, shown in the figure. This value OB of a flux density, okay, is because of the residual magnetism. So how can you define magnetic, uh, uh, sorry, the residual magnetism? The value of the flux density OB, the value of the flux density OB, okay, when, uh, okay, retained by the magnetic material is called residual magnetism. And the power of retaining, it is known as retentivity of the material. 
even though at h is equal to 0 b not equal to 0 so some amount of magnetic flux density ob value is existing within the material say this amount of uh, uh, magnetism okay this amount of flux density is known as the residual magnet residual magnetism say okay this residual magnetism is uh, okay observed in this bh uh, curve as ob so this ob represents a residual magnetism okay so this property here yeah, the power of retaining it is known as uh, uh, retentivity of the material. Okay, so next one, coming to uh, next one, reversing refer, uh, by reversing the magnetizing force so that now to demagnetize the magnetic ring, the position of DP DT reversible switch is changed to position two because of uh, to reverse uh, uh, the magnetizing force H. So that when H is increased in the worst direction, so when h is increased in reverse direction the flux density starts decreasing and becomes zero and the curve shown follows the path the bc so from this zero value again just you have to uh, reduce the magnetizing force in this direction that means by reversing this uh, uh, pole uh, okay within the solenoid so you have to uh, reversing the magnetizing force from O to C. As here, the field is decreased, reduced from zero to C. So the magnetic flux density within the material is also gradually decreased so that it, it follows the path to BC. It follows the path to BC. At O, at a point horizon, even H is equal to zero, some magnetic induction, some, some magnetic flux density OB is existing in the material. So if this value of uh, residual magnetism is uh, reduced to zero, so that we have to apply the magnetizing force in reverse direction, that is OC. So here, the value of H is uh, uh, reduced to uh, zero. Okay, uh, sorry, now here, uh, so coming to this one, the value of the magnetizing force OC. So uh, to uh, suppose H is equal to zero, B not equal to zero, but uh, uh, suppose we are decreasing the B becomes zero. We, we are decreasing B to zero actually. So within the material, B um, zero chayal and so man reverse direction field apply just So the value of magnetizing force OC, OC required to wipe out the residual magnetism OB is called coercive field or coercive force as shown in the hysteresis curve. So it could actually, so zero inch monkey, reverse direction law, horizon inch reverse direction on magnetic field apply just to Napuru. So one inch C work well Napuru. E value of this is magnetizing force. He was in at 20, a magnetizing value, magnetizing force value was the Antuntundo, Antha field apply just Napuru, a magnetic induction. So a zero hypothesis. And a BC and at 20. So B inch. CK uh, magnetic induction value B0. So it follows the path BC. So that what you want to do. So that that magnetizing force is nothing but a coercive field or coercive force. The value of the magnetizing force H. Okay, that is the value. O is nothing but the value of H in reversing direction. Okay, so the value of magnetizing force O C, which is required to wipe out. The residual magnetism will be, will be zero chayal and a was in at 20 manamo a field apply just the namo dine coercive field or coercive force and the present Now to complete the hysteresis loop, the magnetizing force H is further increased in a reverse direction. Okay. Uh, Till it reaches the saturation point D. Again, Malas seen inch manaka magnetic swing force reverse direction increase just napro. So seen inch inka magnetic field reverse direction increase just to napro. D at a point reach out in there. And a magnetization inka the inflow, the gipotu. So seen inch inka the gipotu. So seen inch decrease out to seen inch decal potu. D and again, Malas saturation point. So it reaches the saturation point D, but in the uh, negative direction. So the curve traces the path CD. Yeah. Next, the value of H is reduced to uh, zero. Okay, H is equal to zero, and the curve obtains the path D. Again, well, negative direction chi zero key increases just to wealth. 
again it follows the path uh, de okay it follows the path of de where oe is a residual magnetism so a dna path lo kalpindi ee dna path ki vachinappudu again valla ante even though the field is increased from this negative value to zero so it it follows the path de so uh, at even though uh, at origin h is equal to zero so the value of the uh, flux density not becomes zero some some value of b is existing that is oe this is also called here the residual magnetism in the reverse direction actually now uh, the value of h is reduced to zero the car obtains the path the de okay de path will follow the where oe is the residual magnetism when the curve is in the negative direction okay now coming to the position of this switch is changed to one okay again uh, from position to the current in the solenoid is again increased again malla so reverse direction ellapudu ante ellapudaithe switch ni manamu first position ni second position ki marchamo again malla o nunchi ink field increase cheyalante again malla a solenoid lo unnatunta dt actually switch ni actually deento unnatunti a dp dt switch ni make again malla second port nundi first port connect chestha so chestina pre em avutundante malla field increase avutundi again the field is increased here yeah ah uh, now again the field is increased from zero to maximum value so that we have to change the port in the solenoid uh, okay from 2 to 1 so that uh, <coughs> h is increased due to this the h is increased in the positive direction tracing the path e of a e of a path again the field is increased from this uh, uh, zero to maximum value so it follows the magnetic uh, flux density within the ferromagnetic material it follows the same path e of a so that here yeah, uh, it in the curve again of e is the magnetizing force ee curve lo chusnatlaithe again malla so e of a path lo manaki field increase chestina appudu e of a path lo manaki magnetization increase avutuntundi so the again the force here the magnetizing force of the in the curve again the of is the magnetizing force also known as the coercive force required to remove the residual magnetism so deentlo no residual magnetism ni again mala zero kalpincharante deentlo nante ob ni zero cheyalante of of ane tuntu feel apply chestunnamu deentlo nante tuntu of ane tuntu oe ane tuntu uh, residual magnetism ni zero cheyalante deen zero cheyalante of ane tuntu coercive field apply chestunnamu okay so that is of o e is the residual magnetism which becomes zero at uh, applying the for okay applied applying the coercive force to of actually okay uh, now here the total coercive force required to wipe out wipe off uh, the residual magnetism in uh, one complete cycle is denoted by cf actually okay cf so the value of the total uh, coercive force a uh, coercive field uh, okay in the uh, this uh, in this bh uh, curve is cf from os is also coercive field of is also coercive field the total value of the coercive field of this bh curve is a cf cf represent the total value of the coercive field okay this is also called coercivity now from the above discussion it is clear that the flux density we always lags behind the magnetizing force h so the flux density may be lags behind the magnetizing force h hence the loop uh, a b c d e f a is called now this bh curve uh, this bh loop uh, okay which is indicated by a b c d e f again a so this is a complete loop it, it is named as a b c d e f a so this is a complete loop a bh curve is called the magnetic hysteresis loop or hysteresis curve or bh curve bh curve say so this magnetic hysteresis results in the dissipation of wasted energy in the form of heat so that means the energy wasted is proportional to the area of the magnetic hysteresis loop a b c d e f a 
So the actually this loop has the area. This loop of which is named as A B C D E F A. A B C D E F A. Ne tar tar loop. Yanta area ne ta occupy chas tundo. Ah area den tila chas tundi. So a ferromagnetic material lo, oka complete cycle lo magnetize out na puru adi dhanto yanta energy loss out tundo. Mani ke a energy loss ni a area of this loop ne tila chas tundi. So during the magnetization of the ferromagnetic material, it loses some amount of energy. Our energy loss, ni, our energy loss of this ferromagnetic material, ni, uh, represents just the so the area of this uh, uh, loop. Uh, okay, that is A B C D E F A. A B C D E F A. That means the behind the curve, the entire area of the object, the area of the ferromagnetic material. Lo, so uh, magnetization of a complete cycle of magnetization out on a pro at the last in a 20 energy in a last in a 20 energy the energy wasted is proportional to the area of the magnetic hysteresis loop a b c d f a now because here magnetization during the pro where energy in the class out inside because of uh, reorientations of magnetic domains coming to this picture here culturally whenever the material is magnetized from uh, zero to maximum value and from zero to minimum value. So that is here. Yeah, that means here uh, the material. You have to apply the magnetizing force on the x-axis from zero to maximum value and zero to minimum value. So that according to the direction of the applied magnetizing force, the orientation of the dipoles uh, is observed in this picture here. From zero to a, the magnetic dipoles are oriented according to the field direction. Magnetizing force direction from A to again the field is uh, decreasing from maximum value to zero, so that uh, the dipoles are actually the dipoles in the magnetic domain of the ferromagnetic materials are takes another path that is A B A B path lo ante actually A nunchi man ke ante uh, maximum field H nunchi uh, maximum field maximum value nunchi zero jaise na puru A ne point nunchi again mala A work out la. A B path level thundi. In the kill thundi, hit man apply just magnetic field remove just na padke koda. A ferromagnetic material lo vakkasari a magnetic domains orient aite. Abi man field zero chases na sir. Man apply just na field zero chases na sir. A orientation no matan disturb aipo ad. Man zero ko chil original position ko aadu. So apne mo thundi ante. So ikar chodandi one inch ye inch B kill thundi ante. Man, even the H and the zero chase in a pretty key, a magnetic domain so okay, sorry, disturb by power. So could the magnetic what it domains to just tell a marte. A and inch B path lo, the domains equal to the field addiction to parallel over and tiny, but B and the point which are pretty key, a magnetic induction B magnetic flux density could exist out in the H zero put the B zero out la H zero put the. So H max value is zero. So this is the work out. This is B. And the orientation of the magnetic domain is the same. So this is the same. So this is the same. This is B in a 20 point. The saturation point. The magnetic flux density is the same. So this is the original question. So this point. The magnetic domain is the field direction. It is strong. Parallel का वोरिंट आई थे मानो हिच्च जीरो चेस ना पढ़ के आ वाटे के डायरेक्शन को देगा चेंज होता है ना इवन दो एट अ पॉइंट बी हिच्च इसी कोटे जीरो बी नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो बी नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो बी एक्जिस्ट होता है ना इन्हें कहने का नहीं चिकन सोचते मैंटिक डोमेन्स को देगा डिस्टर्ब होता है Zero and the even the H is equal to zero, B not equal to zero because of this reason. And the domain sunny could disturb our ledu. Okay, original gonna to the domain skin disturb our ledu. So quantum antic induction exists out in the and the aesthetic class chip in a blue, even though H is equal to zero, suppose you have to remove the magnetizing force. Then B not equal to zero. A ferromagnetic material low, quantum magnetic induction exists out in the then a residual magnetic magnetism and jet is sent to Nadu. Okay, again, well, B in inch C Keltano. So, Ikra, E residual magnetism and H is equal to zero in a pro, the inflow material low, quantum ferromagnetic, okay, property in Kaligontundi, and a magnetic induction B not equal to zero, B exists out in the. If you do, if ferromagnetic material low, not 20, magnetic induction B zero chayalante. 
మనం హెచ్ని మనం అప్లై చేస్తున్న మ్యాగ్నటైజింగ్ ఫోర్స్ హెచ్ని రివర్స్ డైరెక్షన్ లో అప్లై చేస్తున్నాం సో రివర్స్ డైరెక్షన్ లో సో జీరో నుంచి మళ్ళా మనం రివర్స్ డైరెక్షన్ లో ఫీల్ అప్లై చేసుకుంటూ వెళ్ళినప్పుడు అట్ ఏ పాయింట్ సి అంటే సి అనే పాయింట్ దగ్గర మనకి మ్యాంటిక్ మ్యాంటైజింగ్ ఫోర్స్ కొంత వాల్యూ ఉంటుంది సో ఆ రోజు నుంచి అగైన్ మళ్ళీ రివర్స్ డైరెక్షన్ లో మ్యాంటైజింగ్ ఫోర్స్ మనము డిక్రీస్ చేస్తూ వెళ్తున్నప్పుడు అట్ ఏ పాయింట్ సి సి అనే పాయింట్ దగ్గర వచ్చేటప్పటికి సి అనే పాయింట్ దగ్గర హెచ్ వాల్యూ ఎంత ఉంటుందో ఆ హెచ్ వాల్యూ దగ్గర సో ఆ డొమైన్స్ అన్ని కూడా అగైన్ మళ్ళీ ఒరిజినల్ పొజిషన్ కి వచ్చేస్తాయి ఒరిజినల్ పొజిషన్ కి వచ్చేస్తాయి ఈ డొమైన్స్ అన్ని కూడా ఇక్కడ ఆరిజన్ దగ్గర ఎలా ఉన్నాయో సేమ్ అలాగే ఉంటుంది అంటే మ్యాంటిక్ ఇండక్షన్ జీరో అయిపోతుంది అది ఏ ఫీల్డ్ వాల్యూ దగ్గర మ్యాంటిక్ ఇండక్షన్ బి జీరో అయిపోతుందో ఆ ఫీల్డ్ వాల్యూని ఓసినే కోయర్స్ ఫీల్డ్ అని చెప్పేసి అంటాం ఆ ప్రాపర్టీని కోయర్సివిటీ అంటాం ఓకే సో నెక్స్ట్ అగైన్ మళ్ళీ సి నుంచి డీకి వెళ్తుంది అంటే ఏంటంటే అగైన్ ఆ మ్యాంటైజింగ్ ఫోర్స్ ని రివర్స్ డైరెక్షన్ మనం అప్లై చేసి ఇంక్రీస్ చేసుకుంటూ వెళ్ళినప్పుడు ఈ డొమైన్స్ చూడండి ఇక్కడ డొమైన్స్ మళ్ళీ ఫీల్డ్ డైరెక్షన్ కి ఓకే ఫీల్డ్ డైరెక్షన్ బట్టి ఆ డొమైన్స్ యొక్క ఓరియంటేషన్ మారిపోతుంది ఓకే అగైన్ మళ్ళీ డి నుంచి ఈకి సో డొమైన్స్ యొక్క ఓరియంటేషన్ చేంజ్ అవుతుంది ఓకే డి దగ్గర ఒకలా ఉన్నాయి డొమైన్స్ నెక్స్ట్ ఈ దగ్గర మరొకలా ఉన్నాయి ఎఫ్ దగ్గర అగైన్ మళ్ళీ ఏం రీచ్ అవుతున్నప్పుడు వాటి యొక్క ఓరియంటేషన్ ఫీల్డ్ డైరెక్షన్ కి పేర్ల గా స్ట్రాంగ్ గా ఓరియంట్ అవుతాయి సో దిస్ ఈస్ ద డొమైన్స్ ఆర్ రీఓరియంటెడ్ ద రీఓరియంటేషన్ of these domains according to the direction of the magnetizing force the applied magnetic field man apply chestunnattu ante magnetic field direction batti daniki anugunanga dipoles orientation untundi ila dipoles orientation jarige tappudu so aa material lo ante dipoles orientation jarugutundante aa material magnetize avutundi aa material magnetize avutunnappudu మ్యాంటైజ్ అవుతున్నప్పుడు దాంట్లో డైపోల్స్ రీఓరియంట్ అవుతాయి ఈ రీఓరియంటేషన్ ఆఫ్ ది డైపోల్స్ ఈ డైపోల్స్ మ్యాంటిక్ డొమైన్స్ లో ఉన్నటువంటి డైపోల్స్ రీఓరియంట్ అవుతున్నాయి అంటే మ్యాంటిక్ డొమైన్స్ రీఓరియంట్ అవుతున్నాయి అంటే మ్యాంటిక్ డొమైన్స్ ఎలా రీఓరియంట్ అవుతాయి బికాస్ ఆఫ్ మోషన్ ఆఫ్ ది డొమైన్ వాల్స్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ రొటేషన్ ఆఫ్ ది డొమైన్స్ ఒక ఫెరోమాంటిక్ మెటీరియల్ మ్యాంటైజ్ అవుతున్నప్పుడు దాంట్లో మ్యాంటిక్ డొమైన్స్ ఓకే రొటేషన్ ఆఫ్ ది మ్యాంటిక్ డొమైన్స్ మోషన్ ఆఫ్ ది వాల్స్ ఆఫ్ ది డొమైన్ డొమైన్ వాల్స్ సో వీటి వల్ల మ్యాంటైజ్ అవుతుంది అంటే జూరింగ్ దిస్ మ్యాంటైజేషన్ ప్రాసెస్ ఆల్ దీస్ డైపోల్స్ విత్ మ్యాంటిక్ డొమైన్ దీస్ ఆర్ రీఓరియంటెడ్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ రీఓరియంటేషన్ ఇట్ లాసెస్ సమ్ అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ ఎనర్జీ ఇది ఈ రీఓరియంటేషన్ ప్రాసెస్ లో అది కొంత ఎనర్జీ లాస్ అవుతుంది ఆ ఎనర్జీ లాస్ మనకి దేనికి ఈక్వల్ గా ఉంటుంది సో ద ఎనర్జీ ఇక్కడ అదే పాయింట్ చదువుతున్నాను ఇక్కడ యాక్చువల్ యా ద ఎనర్జీ వేస్టెడ్ ఎందుకు వేస్ట్ అవుతుందో చెప్పాను బికాస్ ఆఫ్ రీఓరియంటేషన్ ఆఫ్ ది మ్యాంటిక్ డైపోల్స్ విత్ ఇన్ ది మ్యాంటిక్ డొమైన్ జూరింగ్ ది మ్యాంటైజేషన్ ఆఫ్ ది ఫ్యూరోమాంటిక్ మెటీరియల్ అండర్ ద అప్లికేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్టర్నల్ మ్యాంటైజింగ్ ఫోర్స్ హెచ్ సో దట్ ఎనర్జీ ఇస్ వేస్టెడ్ which is proportional to the area of the magnetic hysteresis loop a b c d e f e a b c d e f in that magnetic hysteresis loop enta area naithe untu enta area occupy chestundo this area which is occupied by this bh curve is proportional to the energy lost by the material during the magnetization okay magnetization process now coming to next one the study of hysteresis loop in a ferromagnetic material is important because it allows estimation of many magnetic properties and based on that we can judge whether a material is useful or not for a, speci- a specified application because here what is the significance of this hysteresis loop the same picture here uh, it is a it is a um, macro picture here uh, this uh, domains uh, in magnetic hysteresis how the domains are reoriented during the uh, process of magnetization okay in the hysteresis uh, process here this is a macro picture this is a micro picture here yeah, this is a mi- this uh, in this picture which shows this is a micro picture so uh, whenever the field is increased from zero to maximum value applied magnetic field h is increased from zero to maximum value uh, so the magnetization okay of the material it follows the path oa the path oa so during the path oa the dipoles within the each magnetic domain which are reoriented according to yeah 
so this is at this point o h is equal to 0 at the origin the domains uh, within the domain the dipoles are oriented in this way as the field is increased the orientation of the domains is changed according to the application of the okay uh, magnetic field h bar as the field is increased uh, so the domains okay are arranged that means the dipoles in the domains are arranged according to uh, which is parallel to the the direction of the applied magnetic field so this is uh, the microscopic uh, view that is uh, how the magnetization is increased uh, within this uh, romantic material during the uh, applied magnetic field okay manamu oka ferromagnetic material ni oka ferromagnetic material ki magnetic field apply chesinappudu aa ferromagnetic material lo magnetic domains ela orient avutayi so and magnetic induction ela jarugutundi so a magnetization of the material is according to the applied magnetic field so this is only the microscopic point of view how the domains are reoriented how these are arranged according to the direction of the field so next one coming to the significance of the stirrups loop it is very important the area of the loop gives the energy loss per cycle per cubic meter okay so uh, next uh, steepness of the car indicates whether the magnetization is quick or not okay next uh, the product of retentivity and the coercivity is called uh, the energy product of this specimen what is retentivity what is the coercivity so as h is equal to 0 but v not equal to 0 h and the 0 chesinappudiki kuda uh, v not equal to 0 avutundi at h is equal to 0 v not equal to 0 and man apply this magnetic field 0 chesina remove chesesina sare so a material lo konta magnetic induction anadi magnetic induction of b value exist avutundi at h is equal to 0 v not equal to 0 say this uh, amount of uh, magnetization okay existing within the material even though at h is equal to 0 this amount of magnetization is called uh, residual magnetization say so, this property is called retentivity so ob is called retentivity so what is the coercivity so uh, as the field is increased in the opposite direction so how much amount of field is utilized for re for reducing the magnetic induction zero ante os ne untunnamu coercivity antunnamu os degree em avutundi os is the value of h the value of hc which is uh, uh, responsible for b is equal to zero a material lo a magnetic induction b zero chestaru ante idigo b anedi actually magnetic induction uh, b nunchi c ki vachestundi ante b zero ayipothundi actually magnetic induction zero ayipothundi capital b value zero avvalante b c ane paathlo magnetic induction b c ane paathlo decrease avutu c ane point ki vachinappudiki so manaki magnetic induction zero ayipothundi adi a oscillated twenty magnetizing force apply cheyatam valla reverse direction lo os in magnetic magnetizing force apply cheyatam valla magnetic induction zero ayipothundi b ane zero avutundi a magnetic induction b capital b ekkada zero avutundi os in a field reverse direction apply cheyatam valla adi magnetic induction b capital b zero avutundi so ee os in a field ne coercive field or coercivity antam ikkada chudandi magnetizing force h that is in positive direction as it is increased okay a magnetizing force in opposite direction minus h minus means that is indicates in opposite direction next last point the product of retentivity and coercivity is called the energy product of this specimen so materials that are used as a permanent magnets should have high energy product value so that too based upon the area occupied by by the uh, this hysteresis uh, loop here say uh, these are uh, okay divided into uh, two types that is uh, types of magnetic materials soft magnetic materials and hard magnetic materials in the soft magnetic materials the energy loss the area occupied by the this hysteresis loop is small whereas in hard magnetic materials the energy loss and uh, the area occupied uh, by the sister system loop is, is, is large actually. So actually hard magnetic materials get the uh, area in the Kuntundi, is soft magnetic materials get the soft journey, is soft magnetic materials get a hysteresis loop area. 
అలా హార్డ్ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ మెటీరియల్స్ కి హిస్టారిసిస్ లూప్ ఏరియా ఎక్కువ ఉంటుంది అంటే ఎక్కువ ఎనర్జీ లాస్ట్ అవుతుంది ఈ సాఫ్ట్ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ మెటీరియల్స్ అయితే ఈ హిస్టారిసిస్ లూప్ ఏరియా తక్కువ ఉంటుంది అంటే తక్కువ ఎనర్జీ లాస్ట్ అవుతుంది సో సో దిస్ ఇస్ అబౌట్ దే ద హిస్టారిసిస్ బిహేవియర్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ పిక్చర్ యాక్చువల్లీ యూ హ్యావ్ టు అబ్జర్వ్ ద రీఓరియంటేషన్ ఆఫ్ ది magnetic dipoles within the magnetic domains of the given ferromagnetic material how the magnetic the ferromagnetic material is uh, magnetized according to the applied magnetizing force or applied magnetic field so my h generated to magnetic field apply chestunappudu a ferromagnetic material lo ela magnetize avutundi so a magnetization of that ferromagnetic material is expressed in terms of magnetic flux density b bar ఇక్కడ చూడండి మన అప్లై చేసిన ఫీల్ డైరెక్షన్ ఓకే మన అప్లై చేసిన ఫీల్ యాక్చువల్లీ బై యూసింగ్ దిస్ మ్యాగ్నెట్ సో నార్త్ అండ్ సౌత్ పోల్స్ యూస్ చేసి మన మ్యాగ్నెట్ ఈ మ్యాగ్నెట్ తో మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్ అప్లై చేస్తాము ఈ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్ అప్లై చేసినప్పుడు దాంట్లో ఫెరో మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ మెటీరియల్ తీసుకున్నాము సో ఇది ఒక డైరెక్షన్ లో మనకి సో జీరో నుంచి ఫీల్ ఇంక్రీజ్ చేసినప్పుడు మ్యాగ్నెటైజేషన్ ఇంక్రీజ్ అవుతుంది ఈ పిక్చర్ తెలియజేస్తుంది కమింగ్ టు దిస్ పిక్చర్ ఇక్కడ చూడండి ఇక్కడ ఇక్కడ డైరెక్షన్ చేంజ్ అవుతుంది చూడండి ఇక్కడ so reversing the uh, magnetizing force initial actually okay reversing the magnetizing force ee diagram so ikkad picture ikkad picture difference undi arrow mark chudandi ikkad arrow mark chudandi ante oka ferromagnetic material ni external magnetic field apply chesinappudu aa ferromagnetic material lu ye vidhanga magnetize avutundi magnetization ela increase avutundi okay anedi a magnetic domains theory based cheskuni ikkada explain chesaru ee picture lo say the reorientation of the magnetic domains with the ferromagnetic material is uh, according to the applied uh, magnetizing force is uh, clearly observed in this uh, picture so this is very useful to understand the behavior of uh, okay a hysteresis behavior of a given ferromagnetic material because it is a very very important question 